Hey, this keeping it real with your host, Justin Villa Real, and today we're gonna be talking about the Jacksonville Jaguars. And before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to all the Jacksonville Jaguar fans out there. Last video I made on the Jaguars was one of like most viewed videos, got a lot of love uh, in the comment section. From all the Jaguar fans, so shout out to all the Jaguar fans. Really helped the video do well. So shout out to all you Jacksonville Jaguar fans. We're going to talk about how these guys getting hired can turn the Jacksonville Jaguars into a dynasty. There could be a dynasty in Duval County if these two guys are hired. For the Jacksonville Jaguars, we're going to get things started with the head coach that they need to hire to coach Trevor Lawrence and the rest of the Jacksonville Jaguars team next year. And that is P.J. Fleck, the head coach from Minnesota. As a head coach, his record is 56 and 41. And not only is his record 56 and 41, but he's known for turning teams around for taking bad teams and turning them into great teams and Jacksonville while they do have a lot of potential they do have a bright future there's lots of sunny days ahead in Duval County for the Jaguars they right now are a bad team they are a one win football team maybe they get to two wins if they beat the Indianapolis Colts but we don't know if they're going to beat the Colts yet but the Jaguars overall Right now, a bad team, and I think that P.J. Fleck is someone who is a great fit because he has an expertise in turning around teams from being bad to being very, very good. Now, there's two examples of this that I want to talk about. Number one, his time in Western Michigan as a head coach for the Western Michigan Broncos. When they when he first started coaching Western Michigan, they were a one-win football team, kind of like the Jacksonville Jaguars. Within four years, they were a 13-win football team. They went from being a one-win football team to a 13-win football team in the span of four years under P.J. Fleck as a head coach. Then he moves on to the Minnesota Gophers. And the Minnesota Gophers are a five-win football team. Then PJ Fleck turned him into a 11 and 2 record. So he clearly has an expertise in turning bad situations into good situations and I think that if he goes to Jacksonville that could be yet another situation where he turns from bad to very good. Now reasons why he'd want to come to the Jaguars. Number 1, you got Trevor Lawrence who wouldn't want to coach the next great quarterback in NFL history. Great opportunity there. Not only do you got Trevor Lawrence, you got pieces on the offense around him. You got James Robinson at running back. You got a wide receiver duo in D.D. Westbrook and D.J. Shark. You got pieces on the offense. Not only that, but he has the opportunity to really make a name for himself in Jacksonville. He has a unique opportunity because the Jacksonville Jaguars, they're not a franchise that a lot of people think about, but he has the ability to change that. Kind of like when Bill Belichick first got to New England, New England wasn't a team that a lot of people knew. New England didn't have a very rich history. New England was not a very historic team, but look what Bill Belichick has done in New England. He's turned them into one of the most successful sports franchises, and I think that P.J. Fleck is going to have an opportunity to do that in Jacksonville. Now, maybe they don't go to nine Super Bowls like the Patriots did, but you get the point. He can take the Jaguars and turn them into a winner year in, year out, great team year in, year out, and kind of put the Jaguars on the map. And I think that's an opportunity that not only a lot of coaches, but a lot of general managers want. Like a lot of times when you're a coach, when you're a general manager, you want to go to a team that you could turn around and you could be known for helping turn that franchise around. And Jacksonville gives you the best opportunity to turn a franchise around. And that's something that you could put on your resume for future jobs. 
Now, why he's a fit for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Number one, he is coached at smaller colleges. So that means that he's willing to coach smaller teams. And the Jacksonville Jaguars are a lesser known, like a smaller team. They don't, they're not the big name, big market team. But P.J. Fleck has a history of not going to the big market teams, the teams in the big cities. And so there is a fit right there in the fact that he probably would be willing to go to Jacksonville. Number two, Jacksonville is a very young team. So I think the transition from college to the NFL is going to be a lot easier because he's going to be coaching a lot of guys that were just in college not too long ago. And having a young team when you are going from college to the pros, I think is going to be a really good adjustment, really going to help him adjust well and increase his chance of success. Not only that, but he's going to bring that winning culture to Jacksonville. To He's going to bring a winning culture to Duval County because he is a motivator. He is a guy that motivates people to win, that gets the most out of his players. Go look at any of his pregame speeches on YouTube. This guy can motivate a, a locker room. He can motivate a locker room and he could get a winning culture. He could get players to buy in to his message, buy in to what they're trying to do in Duval County or wherever he goes. And that's why he's so successful. And that's how you make a winning culture is when from the top guy on the roster, from the Trevor Lawrence to the bottom of the roster, to the kicker, to the punter, everybody in between the practice squad guys, everybody. How you make a winning culture is when everybody buys in to what the coach is trying to do. And P.J. Fleck is someone that gets people to buy into his message, buy into what he's trying to do. That's why he does what he does. That's why teams that were bad, that he comes in and coaches them, they end up being good because the players from the top of the roster to the bottom of the roster buy into his message. He's going to do that in Jacksonville if he's hired in Jacksonville, and that's going to bring a winning culture, and that could change a lot. That's going to be the biggest changes, P.J. Flex winning culture mentality, and that's going to really help Jacksonville become a winner, a division winner, a team that's playing in conference championships year in, year out, contending for the Super Bowl. That's really going to help having that winning culture, having everybody buy in because P.J. Flex motivational skills. He's almost like a motivational speaker. If Joel Osteen was a head coach, he's P.J. Fleck. Moving on to the GM. The GM I think they should hire is Rick Smith, the former Texans general manager. Now, you might be thinking, how did he get fired from Houston? This is how he got fired. He got fired because he took a leave of absence to take care of his wife who had cancer. And that's when Bill O'Brien came in and took his general manager job. And we've seen the Texans go on a downfall ever since Rick Smith has left. He was the glue that was holding the Texans franchise together. And he's left. And now the Texans franchise is falling apart. He's a guy that drafted 14 Pro Bowlers in 13 years as a general manager. And he specializes in defense. Why this is important is because P.J. Fleck and Trevor Lawrence are going to bring you the offense. Now you need someone to focus on the defense. And Rick Smith is a expert at building great defenses. And that's really going to help Jacksonville. That's really going to help when you have the coach focusing on the offense. When you have the quarterback so your offense is set. When you have the pieces on offense already there. And now you want to build that great defense. Defense wins championships. Rick Smith is going to build a championship level defense. Now why he'd want to go to Jacksonville is it would give him the perfect opportunity to get back at the Houston Texans organization for doing him wrong, for firing him when he was just trying to take care of his wife. The reason why it's the perfect opportunity to get back at them is he can build Jacksonville up to be a winner year in, year out of the division, be a contender to win the AFC and to win the Super Bowl. And the Texans, they're going to have to face the Jaguars twice a year. And they're going to be thinking, we could have still had Rick Smith. This could have been us. But we let him go. And now we went to Jacksonville and he built a winner in Jacksonville. And he could have built a winner in Houston. And now he's building that championship team in Jacksonville instead of Houston. 
because Houston and Jacksonville are division rivals, perfect opportunity for Rick Smith to get back at the Houston Texans. And that's why I think he go to Jacksonville. That is all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more sports content. I'll see you all in the next video.